A good Thursday morning, everyone. It is 630 on your Halloween. Happy Ooh. Halloween in what the, <laughs> one of the ha most haunted cities in America as we take a live look from our Savannah Riverfront sky cam somewhere under the cloud of darkness out there. There's a haunting going on right? <laughs> somewhere in our city. It is somewhere there's bound to be in Savannah. There's yeah, lots of ghosts in Savannah. It is a spooky morning and it's a fun time as well. And we are getting you set for all of it here on the news at daybreak. I'm Kyle Jordan and I'm Madeline Hunt. Kyle, you're looking a little hairy today. Uh, are you turning into a werewolf? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> go to go to Instagram stories and you'll see what's in our studio today. We're having fun today. It's of course Halloween and if you've got kids, I'm sure they are chomping at the bit to put those costumes on and go trick or treating. But I think they're chomping at the bit to chomp at the bit to at chomp the candy. At the candy. <laughs> yeah. And the key is to not eat too much candy today mm -hmm. till you're incapacitating. Yeah, all in <laughs> moderation and that goes for parents too. Uh, we've got Shay Schrader out there this morning for us in Ardsley Park uh, where it will be busy uh, about uh, what 12 hours from now when uh, folks are out there trick or treating. Little ghosts and goblins. Yeah, take they collect over. all the candy, Shay, and then of course parents have to make sure that everything is good. <laughs> for the kids before they start gobbling it up. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the things that uh, pediatrician Dr. Michael Bosick from the Savannah Children's Hospital wants people to be aware of, especially as they're taking their children out trick or treating tonight, is when they get that big old bag of candy home to go ahead and check it through and make sure that everything is something that the kids should be having and that they are eating the candy um, at an appropriate length. Now, Bosick says that the first thing that parents should do as soon as they get that bag of candy home is make sure that each piece of candy is in its original packaging. It looks like it hasn't been tampered with and then actually make sure that it is something safe for kids to eat. He says that's especially important now as there are a lot of gummy products that contain things like THC, which of course kids should not be ingesting. Now, once that's all clear, Dr. Bossick adds that there's no problem letting your kids enjoy the candy, of course, but you're going to want to prevent them from eating it all in one sitting, which is naturally as a kid what you're going to want to do. Everything is about portions and rations. You should be rationing out the candy in small portions to kids so that they're not getting a ton of sugar at the same time. They're not getting a ton of things at the same time. A lot of people will give out sugar-free candy. A lot of people will give out toys. Those are good things to have on the early days and to sort of separate out those things so that you're not having all that candy at once. Now, as a parent, that might be easier said than done because kids are probably going to fight you on that, but that's going to be the best thing for their health. Now, coming up on the news now, we're going to have a look at trick-or-treating safety and how to keep your kids safe as they are coming out in the streets and walking around for trick-or-treating tonight. For now, live in Savannah, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. All right. Well, we can't wait.